Curtin still has a grudge against Tesco for the whole horse meat thing. Who can even remember that? Like they apologise, get over it. People need to pay the price for the bad things they've done or they'll just keep doing them. Bring back the old justice system, that's what I say. And we'll sort out a lot of other problems wrong with this country. Like some of our leading supermarkets putting horse meat in their pies. If I was in France, that would be fine, but we're not in France. We're in the UK, okay? Even Jesus wasn't perfect. He had loads of faults, apparently. Like what? Well, he's really into prostitutes. No. He was. No, who told Mary's you that, Mary Terry? Mary Magdalene or someone. Oh. And apparently, yeah. also, he was massively sarcastic. Sarcastic? Yeah. Where did you hear that from? Mandy told me. Mandy? Yeah. Cos there was this one time where 5,000 people went round to his house and said, oh, I heard you got a load of food for us. And he goes, what? The two fish and the five loaves that I've got in the fridge? And they were like, yeah. And he was like, oh, OK. I'll just rustle that up for you then. How many of you is there? Just the 5,000 of you, is it? And they're like, yeah. Everything happened to a reason, I suppose. Yeah. What reason's that? Well, it's just the wakes at the keepers. Well, what's that got to do with anything? Well, it's just weird because John the Landlord's recently installed a power punching machine. So you're saying the reason for Ray's death is so you can have a punch with a new power punch machine at the Keepers? Well, the Lord works in mysterious ways. <laughs> So, if you want to learn how to drive Curtin, you first need to learn how a car works. No, I don't. So, I'm just going to pop the hood up like this. Vicar, this is really not necessary. Just because I eat toast doesn't mean I need to know how a toaster works. Now, that's the sort of arrogance that'll get you killed on the motorway, mate. Yeah, it's mad, this, the stuff that people throw out. You know, good quality, unused stuff. And I know that it's meant to go to the... Um, Charity shed, but nobody gives a fuck. What's that bowl in there? Yeah, yeah. I love that. I mean, I picked up the other day a lovely, humorous golf clock for the vicar. Every time it gets to four o'clock, it goes four, and he loved that. And it was free, you know? Why go Christmas shopping when the dump is my John Lewis? <laughs> As long as the world's been turning, Carrie's been a backstabbing user that will chew you up and spit you out. Her only loyalty is to herself, Staffies, and the TV channel Dave. Which, in my opinion, is a TV channel made by knuckle draggers for knuckle draggers. The vicar is a drama queen, plain and simple. You know, a drama doesn't just walk into his life willy nilly, he creates it. And there's no place he'd rather be than at the centre of an almighty shitstorm that he's created. You, know, you can't save a damsel if she loves her distress. And you can't save someone from a shark who's insistent on doing one of them shark experiences where you go in the cage and you're lowered into water. And you ha sometimes they put like raw meat in the cage so you're guaranteed to see a shark. Hmm? Oh, that's got nothing to do with anything. Is it not? Do you just want to talk about that documentary you watched last night about sharks? A little bit, I suppose. You'll cut that, won't you? <laughs> <laughs>